lovely wishes. It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. How are y'all? So happy to have y'all come and hang with me for a while. Uh, what is coming up today is uh, we're, we're making this, this train case. This is the largest of them. They come in three sizes. We're going to make the big one. Uh, it probably would have been quicker if I would have just done the little one, but there'll be a lot of editing in this video. Uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, so this is just, this is just like when I did clam up, this is not my pattern. So I can't give you any, any kind of, um, cutting instructions or measurements or any of that stuff. All I can do is sort of give you a walkthrough of, of me doing it and, um, and the way I choose to do it. Um, if you get the pattern, follow Annie's instructions. She's, she's, got, you know, got it down. Uh, also, there's a, a lot of, um, with buy any patterns, the thing that nobody likes is the binding. And I, me too, do not care for the binding. Uh, it is just, is a lesson in frustration is what it is. Um, I usually put on happy music and <laughs> pretend I'm having a good time. But um, there are a lot of hack videos out there on YouTube of people who have found easier ways to accomplish this. So I strongly encourage you to um, have a look at some of those because that could save you a little, a little frustration. So um, we're gonna. This is a two-parter uh, because it's it's long. There's no, I there was no way around it. So um, this is part one, and um, this will get us to almost to the. Um, putting on the top and the bottom, and then there'll be part two. So uh, I hope that if you're thinking about making this bag that you do not let the binding or what what might look like me being frustrated stop you. I have made so many of these uh, in all kinds of sizes and I use them for, uh, they're awesome. They're just, I take them traveling, I keep projects in them, I just, one of them is a first aid kit. It's, they're, they're awesome. It's just, they're really great. So, um, yeah, let's get on with it. Let's make a bag. So we're going to go over the construction of the all aboard train case trio. Uh, I have made this pattern so many times that I had to look, luckily I had two cause I completely lost the picture. Um, this probably is not helping the glare here. So as you can see, it comes in three sizes. Let me see here. This is the smallest size. And, um, I have turned it, this one into a first aid kit. I just kind of shove some stuff in here and, um, it's, I put a zipper pocket in this one. Most, I don't think they called for this in a lot of them. I just, I kind of randomly play with it. It's such a neat design and it's, um, it's so, for me, it's really satisfying to make. So sometimes I play around with pieces of it. So that is the small one. This is the medium sized one. This one's got stuff in it too. I don't remember what. Oh, uh, embroidery things. So yeah, this one just has a um, mesh pocket on top, no zipper. They also call to put um, like cardboard or something in the bottoms of them, but I don't, I just don't find it really all that necessary. I. I don't know. It's it's really fine with me. So then this one is the large size, and this is the size I'm going to be putting together today. Um, this is the one that I make the most of. It is just it's such a good size. It's and and the especially if you're just beginning, the bigger it is, the easier it is to manipulate, especially the um, the binding which honestly I did not do such a great job on this one. Uh, I may not, I, I'm not a pro. Let's just put it that way. Not a pro. So, and the, this one's got a pocket in it also. So, 
that is the three sizes. So let me get these out of the way here. So by Annie does a really cool thing and because again, it's her pattern and I can't show it to you, but she, um, she kind of has you put all the pieces together and then, a, then, um, Let's see, what's the right word? Put all the pieces together and then assemble it. So um, I have put all the pieces together here. Oh, I was gonna show you too. If you have never worked with soft and stable, this is what soft and stable is. It's uh, squishy, uh, holds its shape beautifully, super easy to work on. Um, walking foot, walking foot. If you don't have one, walking foot. Is a good idea so she makes this there's a cutting list that you could go by through to create it so um like this is the and then there's little tabs that show what it is so this is the top this is the bottom and then these are the strips that are going to go around this is the back piece and then there is a, um, there's a pocket. There's a pocket that's gonna go in there. And then there's the handle. This is a couple pieces of binding that I'm gonna use in a different spot. These are a zipper handle to help with the zipper. It's these. And um, this is the binding. So it, she ha it's all ready to go. Once you, this is like the piddly part, putting it all together, although I really like doing it that way. Um, once you've got all these things completed, then all you have to do is follow the instructions and just put them all together. So, and this is the zipper I'm gonna use. So um, I guess let's just, let's just get started, shall we? All right, we're gonna start by assembling, by putting the handle onto the lid. So we're gonna draw a line uh, an inch and then two and a quarter inches from the end of the handle. And that's just gonna be a guide for stitching down um, the handle onto the lid. It it's, has you draw a line across the lid so you can align it. Um, if this is your first one and you're a beginner, I would say do it absolutely the way she suggests that you do it. I have made so freaking many of these that I just mark the centers and, uh, yeah, kind of play eyeball with it because... You know me, I like to go rogue. So, so that's the center line. This looks to be about the center. So then I take a clip, clip her down. There's that line, there it is. There's the center. And then I'm gonna go to the machine and I will show you how we're gonna stitch this down okay so yeah I forgot to turn on the camera again while I was making putting the handle on the top and I can't I can't undo it so um if, if you are uh, purchasing this pattern it will explain it to you so not to worry but basically I don't know if you can see See the little X right there? I just sewed up to the lines that were created and then sewed an X in so that it's in there. I mean, it's not, it's totally not going anywhere. So it's a very stable little handle. Um, it's sad that it's covering up that incredibly cool snake, but it is what it is. So next up, we're gonna put a pocket on this side of the of the upper case lid. So in order to do that, I know it's really hard to see this on top of this 
What if I put it? No, that's got that's got information. If I do this, maybe that makes it easier. Okay, so there's a piece of mesh that's cut, and then there is a piece of elastic. See, as I was talking about earlier, how things you could buy stuff that matched. Um, so we're gonna, and this is fold over elastic. So we're just gonna take it on one side and fold it over the top of that mesh. And then clip it on. And we're just gonna keep on doing that all the way down. So it's clipped onto the top of this mesh pocket. And then I'm gonna go to this machine and stitch it on. And I'm gonna try really hard to remember to turn the camera back on. So I'll meet you with the machine. Okie dokie. I know this seems like it's kind of um, unstable, but once you get it going, it's it's not a problem. And I just run a seam as close to the bottom edge as I am comfortable. Come on, here we go, anytime now. Oh, <laughs> sheen's off. Remember to turn on the, on the, camera but not the machine okay here we go So now <clears throat> we're going to turn over the handle. If you've got a directional, so I know I want my lid to sit this way so that the snake is aiming that way as opposed to this way. So you're going to want to flip it up like, like you're flipping it open, like you're opening your lid and affix your pocket that way. So that way you'll know that when you open the lid, the pocket's gonna be not with the bottom, at the bottom. Ask me how I know that. Yeah, so just gonna put some clips. back to the machine and I'm just going to stitch all the way around. Um, basically we're basting. I'm not going to change the size of my stitch but um, we're just getting this on here so that when we um, apply the band and it's already affixed. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to round the corners. All four corners on each of the lid and the base are going to be rounded. And I call, it says to use a two and a half inch circle. Um, I find the bottom of a cone of thread to be as close to two and a half inches as possible. And then it asks you to, uh, a sharpie because we're going to cut it off anyway so can you see what i'm doing yes okay i just take the sharpie and go around da, da, da. oops so see it 
creates that curve. And I just do the same thing on all four. So <clears throat> I find it easier to cut the car the curves with a pair of scissors as opposed to my rotary cutter. So I'm going to do the exact same thing to the bottom and then I'm going to go to the machine and I'm just going to stitch super close to the edge just to cover up or just to um, reinforce that because now you see we've got this little thing going on. And I know if you're anything like me, you're going to be like, why, why? It's just that little bit. It doesn't matter. It kind of does. It just, it will just make your life easier if you do it. So I'm going to take care of the top and the bottom, and then I will be back. So I've set aside the top and the bottom. Um, they're all circular now, and that's we're done with those for a minute. It The pattern suggests that you put a, a mesh pocket um, on this piece also. I've never used it. I've put them in there. I never use them. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So it's time for the zipper. So deep breath, everyone. Uh, this is piece A uh, or side piece A, whatever we want to call it. Uh, and we need a 30 inch zipper and we're going to install the zipper on this side, right sides together. Remember that the where the teeth are sticking up, that's the right side. And this is the right side of the, of the or the exterior of the bag. So we're going to just let the zipper hang off just a little on both sides. We don't need the full size. And then you're just going to take some binder clips and clip it down. And just like I've explained to you um, before when we've done zippers like this, like when we did clam up, just let it hang off the edge of, this, of the piece of fabric a little bit because we're going to turn it in and um, cover up that seam using the zipper tape. So we're just going to keep on working our way down here. Oh, no, I don't like that. Bag it up. Whoops, sorry. It's like you're here with me and I keep stepping on your toes. We're gonna move the zipper heads down a bit. So I have a little more room here. There we go. Alrighty, back to the machine now. Okay, welcome back. Uh, you may be wondering what what's happened here. Uh, why do we no longer have clips and 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 uh, everything just fell apart. I don't know what happened. I broke a needle. The machine got clogged up. Uh, I 
threw a few things around. Uh, I've smudged the room. I did five Hail Marys. I may have sung a couple of verses of Jesus Loves Me. I uh, did not resort to alcohol, but um, yeah, I reset my router because, you know, they always say to reset your router. It has nothing to do with this. But finally, finally, whatever demon was inhabiting my machine, it has uh, departed. So uh, I've I'm just going rogue here. I didn't put the clips back in. I'm just going to do it like I usually do. I was trying to be all like, you know, a good teacher, but son of a gun. It made me mad. And you know you should never sew when you're mad. puts bad juju into your project. It's one thing I didn't do is throw the chicken feet. I don't have chicken feet. I was just trying to cover all my bases. stop here I'm going to move the zipper feet because they also were being extremely uncooperative and then I will finish it up normally I can just slide them right under there and everything's all happy but and we have made it to the other side of the zipper. Sheesh. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the other side and we're gonna turn the zipper over and see how as I fold that piece of zipper over, I am covering up this open seam. So now we're gonna all discombobulated. We're gonna um, get rid of all these ridiculous threads that, yeah. And we're gonna go again and we're just gonna finger press as you go and we're gonna try to stitch as close to the edge but don't don't go over. Um, and by doing this we're gonna cover up that seam and we're also gonna give us a nice little top stitch on the other side. So yes, maybe just like me did not turn the camera on. Well, let's try this here. This here. Oh, you look at that. See, I'm not used to using. <laughs> I'm not used to using it, so I'm messing up. Get back over there. Me feel fancy to have it in my hand though. Okay, let's see. I just go slower. learner's permit to use this stiletto. So 
Hallelujah. Saints be praised. We got it in there. Okay. What next? I think a break. Okay, so I went ahead and put the top part. We This is the part we did together. And I put the top part on. It was exactly the same. Exactly the same thing. So now we're going to take... So this is like the body of the bag. And it's kind of coming around this way. And now we're going to do the back part. And it's a square, so it doesn't really matter how you do it and I've got my owls on this side so messed up that it doesn't it doesn't really matter what's what do you do so um with you're just going to take however you want to um attach you know clip pin whatever whatever you like And you're just going to stitch down this side and then you're going to do the exact same thing over here and then you're going to stitch down this side and we'll have the top bottom and sides of the bag complete and then all that's left is um putting it together so at this point you feel like you've been working on this bag for 27 years and um but we're get we're getting there we're on the home stretch so I think I'm going to put this video into two parts because it is pretty long. So um, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to go ahead and, and sew these on. And then tomorrow I will pick up and finish putting the bag together. So see you tomorrow.